ion pumps are basically a channel protein that uses ATP to transport ions from one side of the membrane to the another side of the membrane. Hello friends, welcome to Biology Concern. I am Animesh and in this video I am going to discuss about ion pumps, the main transporter of ions. Let's jump into the topic. So firstly, ion pumps are basically channel proteins that uses ATP hydrolysis. That means by hydrolysis of ATP, they are getting generated the energy and those energies are required for transfer of an ion from one side of the membrane to the another side of the membrane. So this ATP driven pumps are also called transport ATPSs as they hydrolyze the ATP. Basically, they breaks the phosphate bonds from the ATP and that's why they are called as ATPSs. So there are three principal classes of ATP driven pumps and representatives of each are found in all prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So basically in case of prokaryotic cell and all eukaryotic cells, these kind of pumps are present in every organism. So they are specifically decided, divided in uh, three major categories, but one extra and other categories are also there. So these type of pumps are present in every eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So what are they? So basically these are P classes pumps, F type pumps, V type pumps and ABC transporters. Uh, the example of P type class pumps are sodium, potassium, ATPase transporters. Okay, so sodium potassium ATPase transporters are the major example of these P class pumps that are present in uh, plasma membrane of plants, fungi and higher eukaryotes. Also present in apical plasma membrane of stomach and sarcoplasmic membranes of muscle cells. So basically these pumps phosphorylate themselves during the pumping of cycles. That means one phosphate is needed and these phosphate transport the ion that is transport out three sodium ions from inside and transport back two potassium ions inside of this membrane. So basically these pumps uh, works as uh, against their concentration gradient. So these are p-type pumps and example is sodium potassium ATPS transporters. Another kind of uh, pumps is F-type pumps as that is also known as F0 F1 complex. So F0 F1 complex or F0, F1 ATP synthesis. So basically this type of pumps generates the ATP and it is present in bacterial plasma membrane, my inner mitochondrial membrane of eukaryotes and thylakoid membrane of plant cells of or chloroplast. So basically this uh, structure of these F type pumps are turbine like proteins. So basically they are like turbine like proteins also known as ATP synthesis. So basically in this case four hydrogens are comes through this ATP synthesis and makes a ATP that is the energy. So here ADP is attached with one inorganic phosphate and produces one molecule of ATP. So this kind of pumps or F type pumps generates the ATP besides these P type pumps uses the ATP. Okay. So basically P type pumps hydrolyzes the ATP that ATP is uh, converted into ADP and PI and these inorganic phosphates is uh, requires for energy. So this is the energy source of this P classes pumps. Third type pump is V type pumps. These V type pumps are present in vacuolar membranes in plants, yeast, and other fungi. So, basically, plants, yeast, and other fungi. Also present in endosomal and lysosomal membranes in animal cells and plasma membrane of osteoclast and kidney tubule cells. So, basically, this type of pumps pumps the H plus from inside to outside of the membrane and this requires uh, ATP hydrolysis. So this kind of pumps are also uses the ATP and makes them ATP that is the adenosine diphosphate along with in, uh, one kind of one inorganic phosphate. So this inorganic phosphate is required for the energy and those energy is converted and by with, in, using this energy that is the inorganic phosphate this kind of pumps pumps out the hydrogen plus rather than synthesis of ATP and fourth and the major type of uh, transporter is ABC transporter or also known as ATP binding cassette. So this kind of pumps are known as ATP binding cassettes. So these ATP binding cassettes are using these ATP 
and hydrolyzes this ATP and makes them ADP and PAI and those inorganic phosphate use as energy and these kinds of transporters usually observed in bacterial plasma membrane where it uh, transports of amino acids, inorganic ions, mono and polysaccharides, peptides, lipids and drugs. So basically this kind of pumps present in the bacterial cell membrane and they efflux the hydrophobic drugs from cytosol to outside. That means they pumps out the drugs that we induces in our induces the bacteria and by this mechanism bacteria has got antibiotic resistance so basically they pumps hydrophobic drugs out of the cytoplasm so major protein involves in the bacterial antibiotic resistance so whenever we applied some of the antibiotics if this is a bacteria and this bacteria has this abc transporters right so whenever we applied some drug we applied some drug these drugs are comes out from this bacteria cytosol from the bacterial cytosol to the outside with the help of this abc transporters or uh, and thereby they are creating an antibiotic resistant properties so basically these kinds of abc transporters also found in human cancerous cells where they make cell resistance to a variety of cytotoxic drugs that drugs we basically use to kill the particular cell that is infected with cancer or that uh, cells that shows the cancerous properties so basically by this mechanism this cancerous cells efflux the cytotoxic drugs uh, from cyt uh, from cytosol to the extracellular matrix and thereby they are creating a drug resistant properties in with there thereby they are surviving long enough and create a disease in our body so this is the four basic types of pumps that is present in the plasma membrane of various eukaryotes and prokaryotes so basically some kind of pumps uses atp hydrolysis and some kind of pumps generate the atp so one example is it f type pumps that generates the ATP and another three type of pumps that is P class, V type and ABC transporters they are basically uses the ATP. This is the total about the membrane pumps or ion pumps. If you like that video please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.